everybody. Uh, let's move on to our next question. Uh, here's one that comes up quite a bit. We've got a couple on smoking. I'm a smoker. I quit three months ago. Will I be able to save money? The answer is, is that uh, if they've got you documented as a smoker, the answer is you got to wait 12 months. After 12 months, put something in writing, send it in, and then at that point, you could save as much as 25%. So congratulations on the quitting smoking. Keep it up and uh, go ahead and, and just continue and wait the 12 months. Don't. Uh, and for anybody out there that uh, has quit smoking for, for under a year, still put down smoking. And it, for anybody that has a thought, well, maybe I shouldn't tell them about smoking and save money, please don't do that. Uh, you know, it will come back to haunt you. If they find out, and they will, they can draw blood. You know, they're not going to uh, throw you in jail. Uh, but what would happen is they can rescind your policy, which means that they'll they'll uh, give you back all your premium paid up to that point, minus any claims, and say thank you, no thank you. And if you're laying in the hospital racking up a big bill, that's not a good position to be in. So uh, we give them the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Um, so anyway, that was my next question also uh, from a caller about smoking and telling them, so the answer is yes. Here's a good question related to what I just said. What is the worst that can happen if I lie on my insurance application? First of all, don't lie on your insurance application. Tell the truth. The worst that can happen is that they will again rescind your policy. That's the word. You'll get a certified letter in the mail. They'll, they'll give you all your money back uh, minus the claims. So that's the good news. The bad news is you got a problem because, uh, you know, at the worst possible time, you get that kind of letter and you need them, you're out of luck. Uh, so don't lie on an application. Give them the whole truth. The proper uh, dialogue there is uh, full disclosure. We want to make sure that we give them full disclosure. On the other hand, as long as we're on the subject, um, we don't have to tell more than what they're asking for. For example, the application calls for the last um, five years. I uh, brought in an application today and I thought it would be an enlightening thing and I'm going to read you the language and uh, it says, has any person listed on this application when, within the past five years ever had any signs or symptoms, been consulted for, received advice, sought treatment, had treatment recommended, received treatment, been surgically treated or been hospitalized for any of the following conditions, diseases or disorders? So key number five years, signs or symptoms, been consulted for received advice. If you had something over five years ago and nothing after that, you don't have to tell them. But if you do offer it in a phone uh, confirmation call, which many companies have, they will hold that against you. So, you know, I couch my uh, and, and coach my clients to not say too much. Uh, in other words, we say the whole truth, but we don't offer more than the whole truth. And if it's not documented and diagnosed, which means if it's not written somewhere on a doctor's uh, a file, in a, a medical file, technically nobody knows about it but you. I'm not telling you not to fess up and tell them. What I'm telling you is that those are the facts. They're not going to know about it. But uh, my suggestion is full disclosure. And again, if you've sought treatment, uh, had signs or symptoms, you should uh, tell them uh, what's going on and uh, get covered for those issues. So pre-existing, but you'll be covered, but you'll be rated up. So that's why we advocate getting insurance when you're young, hanging on to it for the rest of your life, not jumping from company to company. Uh, so the key is to please uh, do the right thing. It's, it's, you lock in the insurance at an uh, inexpensive price and you keep it. Auto in insurance, health insurance, these are necessary uh, evil, so to speak, or, or needs in the marketplace. So um, for the people that call me and say, Andy, I never get sick. Why do I need health insurance? Again, health insurance is not about getting sick or, or having a cold or a flu or a sore throat. It's about the God forbids. And um, I had a, uh, a client call me, uh, a heartbreaking story, 25 years old, uh, uh, lymphoma. 25 years old. For all of uh, us that uh, say it can't happen to me, um, please, um, I'm urging you, just get health insurance. You can insure children in our marketplace for as little as $44. There's no reason not to have. Anyway, we're going to break for a commercial message. We'll be right back. Thank you.